So I became associated with butterflies because there was a very specific day back in 2014, and this was just around the time that I had started at Bronx Knit Community Television. I was on vacation with my family in Martha's Vineyard, and I think it was like the last day that we were gonna be there, and it was literally a butterfly that was on, I think it was like a slab of concrete or it was a rock, something like that, and it was just talking to me. Literally, I remember I had my camera there, and I was just kind of looking at it, and I kept looking at it and I kept looking at it and I was like, all right, let me just get a picture. And that was literally kind of it. It was just like, I just fell in love with, um, and I th it was a painted lady. Um, I think they're called an American painted lady. So that was the first, my first ever interaction with butterflies. And it all kind of just flowed. Like ever since seeing the butterfly, it just kind of flowed into becoming a part of my brand. I just fell in love with them so much. And even what they represent spiritually, literally is like who I am. They are, they fly, they're free spirited, they're colorful. So I'm like, let me just add this to, you know, who, who, who people are going to meet when they book me for something, you know what I mean? So it just kind of fell all together. And how I came up with the visual butterfly, it just kind of popped in my head, like TBH. Um, I originally was known as the camera lady because uh, I was always outside <laughs> with a camera. Anytime anybody saw me, I was always working. It's still very true to this day. But anytime anybody saw me, I was always, I always had a camera in my hand. And then I kind of felt limited after a while. I didn't want to be just known as the camera lady. Like I knew that I was going to be able to do more. And this was like a year before the pandemic hit. And I was just kind of like, I want people to know that I'm available for more than just camera work. Like I want to get into editing, like I want to get into directing. You know, I started off in photography, but I want to do more than that, like creative direction. And so, of course, still building from the butterfly, it was just, it just kind of was like, oh, the visual butterfly. Oh, I kind of like that. And then about two weeks later, I know, I think I hit up my mom. I was like, mom, I'm like, I think I got my name. And I'm like, I think I'm gonna go with this. I mean, even the way I spell it, it's um, B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-E-Y-E. -E, and I say E-Y-E -E because, you know, you think of I, like, self. But yeah, that's how the visual butterfly came about. I was just like, I, I wanted to be more, I wanted to be known for more than just working with 